go ahead and fucking leave. I'm not gonna stop you. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. What do you want me to do, huh? You want me to cry and scream? I can't do that. If I cried every time somebody left, I would never stop crying. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. Go. I can't be begging for nobody no more. If you wanna leave, you're a single mother, this one's for you. I hope that you know that there are good men in the world. That we see you, we see your struggle, we see how you are two in one, and that you constantly are doing things that normally takes two people to do. I'm tearing You're up, amazing. Boys. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. In every single way. Oh, thank you very much. And I, for one, am extremely proud of those single mothers that I know and the job that they're doing raising those fine, young kids. And no matter where you are today, no matter what you're doing, I hope that you know that we see you and that we think that it's beautiful. I hope that you have a great day. Single mothers do not raise fine young children. Okay, gentlemen, you're more than welcome to go out there and look at the stats, guys, but um, children grow up the best in a stable household. That means mother and father are both in the picture. And guys, when you have a society at the moment that incentivizes um, women to kick men out of the household, you're ending up with a lot of broken families, a lot of children who are raised by single mothers. And, uh, you know, not only does that just completely uh, pollute the dating market, shall we say, um, but those kids are going to grow up in some quite, quite rough environments, guys. So we're going to be addressing these points today, going over a couple of videos together, guys. So make sure you leave your comments as we go through it. Um, but guys, if you're new here, what is going on? I am Taylor the Fiend back again with another response video. And on today's show, guys, we're going to be taking a look at a couple of Reddit articles if we have time, as well as a couple of TikToks uh, regarding single mothers, I believe. Shout out to the Discord to prov for providing the TikToks today, guys. Um, but if you're new here, guys, you're liking the videos, make sure you subscribe on your way in. Come and join the Discord link in the description if you haven't already. And as always, guys, if you'd like to support the channel, the link to the Patreon is below. Now, guys, this channel, uh, as of today, a bit of an announcement here, guys. Uh, we're on some thin ice, okay? So we got a warning um, on a video a while ago. Uh, I got the warning yesterday, and the video was from a while ago. So we've got a warning. Right, and then now they're just gonna start handing us strikes, I believe, um, and they said that we went against the community guidelines. Now, they didn't tell us why or what guideline we went against. They just said that it was against it, so um, they they um, removed one of the videos, but or they made it age-restricted and said it went against the guidelines. But, um, gentlemen, this channel, before we get on with the video, a bit of an announcement, this channel is on some thin ice, okay? So, um, I'm looking into uh, moving as well, like a better bachelor to locals. So I'm looking at setting up locals. Um, I know a lot of you guys don't like Patreon at all, which is what I used right now if you guys are interested in supporting the channel. So at the moment, I'm actually setting up a community over there on locals, which will take some time, um, but we'll be doing that. I'm also going to be looking into another place I can post videos. We'll see how that goes and whether or not I do it. The problem with those gentlemen is a lot of them don't have exposure. Um, but in short, guys, I'm going to be pushing the Patreon a bit more than usual. And also, um, in the future, I will be setting up locals because I know a lot of you guys don't don't like Patreon at all. Um, but yeah, gentlemen, just, just a heads up, like if I don't post for quite a while or whatever the case may be, just assume that I've gotten a strike and I'm not allowed to post for a week. Um, I don't see this channel lasting indefinitely, guys. So as always, I just appreciate you guys watching, um, sharing your thoughts in the comments below. And you know, when better bachelor and other people are looking at youtube right now going guys there's less and less of this platform for us to kind of have our voice here is all i'm going to say but we're just going to jump straight into today's video address this man's points and um you know see what else we got going on in so far as stories i believe i've got some spicy one for you spicy ones for you guys but oh wait i think we've got a, we've got one more actually let's have a look at this dating a single mom is hard she'll cancel dates short text and not reply she has no time to put you first a woman who puts her child before you should make you respect her more. Be patient with her. Take her out. She's not flaking. Child care costs more than the date you take her on. It's not about money. Spoil her with time. Show her you appreciate all the sacrifices she makes for her child with no help. Be her consistency and eventually she'll be your everything. 
Guys, I really dislike that line. Okay, no, no hate to this guy or whatever, right? But this whole this whole narrative of you as a man. Here's the narrative that people constantly push to you as a guy. Okay, they'll push the idea that all you have to do, guys, is you just have to put in the effort, and she'll turn around and you know she'll realize what kind of good man that you are. I mean, what this man just pushed right here. You know, guys, like she's gonna turn around and and realize your worth, gentlemen. Let me just say this right off the bat. If a girl is not interested in us, we are not out here pursuing her, okay? Hell, we got a lot of guys over here at the moment who watch my videos who aren't even interested in dating at all. And I've said this time and time again, guys, but I really can't blame you. Um, we've got a lot of guys over here who are in relationships. We've got a lot of guys over here who will not touch them with a 10-foot pole. Um, but, you know, regardless of where you stand, guys, like, you don't pursue people that don't want you in their life. It's a waste of energy. Like encouraging that, particularly to men, is so damaging because you'll get these young guys who think to themselves, "Well, I'm just going to prove myself. I'm just going to like that." So what? She's a single mother and she's got three kids in tow, guys. I'm just going to prove myself as a man because that's what I've been told. No, you see, what you're doing when you do that, guys, is you're compromising yourself. You're, you're actually, you're actually, you know, harming the quality of your life by doing that quite significantly. Um, but let's run through once again and address these points specifically. Dating a single mom is hard. She'll cancel dates, short text, and not reply. If you're with someone and they're doing this, gentlemen, just cut it off. Just, just save, just save yourself the time. If people look at this, if people are canceling dates on you, short texting you, and not replying, let me put it to you this way: there is a guy out there who she's not doing these things for. Okay, when girls say that they're single, you know, I had a, um, interestingly enough, guys, I have, I do Patreon calls, um, which I'm, I'm probably gonna have to shut down the Patreon calls soon because th there's just kind of too many to get to at the moment. Um, but interestingly enough over there is a lot of the calls, call requests I get from viewers, from you guys, um, are actually from girls. And I had a girl ask me yesterday or yeah, yeah, it was yesterday. And she was asking me, um, you know, Taylor, how come it is that, you know, guys don't believe when girls say we have low body counts? You know what I mean? It's like, and I had to explain to her, you know, when girls say that they're single, gentlemen, they're not really single. When guys are single, when we as guys, we say that we're alone, we've got nothing going on. It, mean, it means you're damn well alone. When a girl is single, please believe she's seeing and talking to people. So if, if you're getting these kinds of behaviors up here, it's not, bec it's not because, oh yeah, she's out of time or she doesn't have time. Guys, if a girl really likes you, nothing can get between you two like let me just she'll drive for like two hours in a, in a thunderstorm to see you kind of deal um so don't be putting up with this kind of behavior guys like i see too many men in relationships just putting up with this crap and you know it, it doesn't serve them well she has no time to put you first a woman who puts her child before you should make you respect her more yeah and see again we're gonna have to disagree on that one um nobody can make you respect anyone respect is something that's earned okay and a respect is something that you as a person assign to an another person okay it's, you, you don't get to tell me who i respect and who i don't gentlemen please don't be giving out your respect just to people just because they exist like there's a baseline you know treating people as humans you know com there's there's common courtesy okay and then there's respect respect is earned all right, this, you see what what people do is like this is a really dangerous message to men because respect, um, your time and energy, man, your commitment, you caring about another person, those th kinds of things have to be earned. If you're giving away them for free, like which society encourages men to do, by the way, what you're actively doing is just harming yourself. And I I don't know, man, I really don't like that message. Be patient with her, take her out. No, she's not flaking. Child care costs more than the date you take her on. Yeah, again, guys, we're gonna no, we're gonna wrap up this video. Like, I'm sick of addressing these points already. But you know, we're not we're not out here taking these people on dates, like, and and pu and putting up with no time, no effort, and that kind of stuff, gentlemen. If you are if you're a guy, particularly, you know, if you got your stuff going on, you don't have time to be to be waiting on someone when they're available. Like all this all this crap. All right, it's just. It's just ridiculous, but we're going to be pulling up a story right here, guys, and this is a bit of a sad one. And, uh, you know, when we say that the divorce courts are stacked against men, we really mean it. And it's really compounded by the fact that you get situations like this. So the title is, I think I want a divorce. To get straight to the point, I'm 25. I got married at 22. My husband is an absolute gem of a human. 
Okay, so you know, obviously he's he respects her. He's doing every he's doing literally what that guy in the video just told us to do. You see that? So j just keep that in mind as we go through here, guys. Like the what we were just encouraged to do is what this gentleman here is doing, the one that's quote a gem. But I feel so alone and I'm catching myself asking for attention. He's a great person and works very hard. I work full time and I go to school full time. I come home and clean the house, cook dinner, take care of our pets all the while. He plays video games all night long after work. He never asks me about my day. He never compliments me. He never asks if I need help and I, and I feel my mental health slipping. When I even try to hint at a conversation about this, it turns into him blaming me. I love him, his family, our friends and our life together. But I'm at the, to the point where I actually want to be happy with myself and make myself happy. I mean, gentlemen, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know what this means. Like, we, we all know what this means. You, you see, when we see sentences like this, guys, like, it's almost like, do I really have to be reading this? Like, are you really going to lie that blatantly? Okay, like, <laughs> when people say, oh, yeah, make myself happy, or I'm going to be happy with myself, I'm going to go find myself, or they start using, like, spiritual language... It's, particularly when girls start using spiritual language, it is a huge red flag. Now, that, that's no disrespect to my guys in the audience who are Christian and stuff like that. Maybe you've got a Christian wife or whatever the hell, right? You stumbled across my channel and, you know, you're dating a girl who's Christian. Uh, I'm not saying any disrespect towards religions or anything like that. What I am saying is that when girls want to pull particularly like, you know, tarot cards and like, oh yeah, they talk about star signs and this kind of crap, man. And like, they, they think that there's that kind of spirituality has a bearing on the relationships that they have rather than the actual decisions that they make, you run into some really bad situations. Anyway, is there any advice anyone can give me or any idea of how to approach this subject with somebody who is simply put emotionless? <laughs> you know, it is funny guys. Like it really is because, um, I think that when men look at stories like this, it's very easy to get caught up in it and say, well, well, it's, it's because like, I didn't do enough or I didn't do enough. Um, and men start to really blame themselves, which is something I'm going to pick apart in a moment if I've got the correct story here. Um, but just let me have a, a moment. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the title of this one is my girlfriend left me and I realized I have only one genuine friend. Sorry if this is disorganized. Now, this is going to be a story where the guy kind of blames himself. He's not committed enough and all that kind of yada yada. Gentlemen, if your relationship ends... Um, I would encourage you to not take the perspective of the girl because she's going to have incentives to do things like save face or, you know, resolve it in a way that makes her look good and or makes you look bad or, you know, spare your feelings so you don't get mad and all, all, the, all this kind of stuff, right? If you're looking for a solution as to why your relationship ended and you want to do quote unquote better next time, um, you're better off looking at it from an objective stance. Okay, so please don't be believing the other person in the, in the end of relationships because a lot of times you'll, you'll walk away with the wrong idea of why the relationship actually ended. You're going to go into the next relationship with those ideas and you're going to ruin it in the exact same way. But let's, let's just crack right into this. Five days ago, my first girlfriend, who's a 20-year-old female ever, left me a 19-year-old male. Notice the age difference again, guys. And I know that I am very, very young and haven't had much life experience, but this is the lowest I have been mentally ever. Our relationship was very strong and stable for the three years that we were together. We only had one serious argument in those three years, excuse me, and we broke up because of that same problem, because of the same problems. I'm extremely introverted and she's extroverted, another red flag. Communicating with anyone for me is extremely difficult and I have anxiety talking. One of the, me one of the reasons we broke up was because we didn't spend much time together, didn't go on many dates. I was working all the time for the past year and didn't have that much time for us together. I still tried really hard, but it wasn't enough. How, ma how many of you guys in the audience, like, uh, I'm sure most of you have been dating at some point in your life or, you know, you've gone through situations like this and, you know, just take stock of this sentence right here. I'm sure we've got a lot of guys over here who will absolutely resonate with this sentence. I still tried really hard, but it wasn't enough. Maybe, gentlemen, the, the trying wasn't the issue. Okay, playing a bit of devil, devil's advocate here, guys, is like, why the hell would you continuously try really hard for people who aren't appreciating it? And, you know, I really, you know, <laughs> I'm going to say something that might let me in a bit of hot water here, guys. And, um, 
you know, quite often girls are actually attracted to the opposite. Okay, it's not so much about how much effort you actually put in. Girls hyper fixate on guys who don't validate them, you know, who don't try very hard, who have nothing to prove, who aren't interested in their opinions, you know, those sorts of things, okay? So we as guys, we're conditioned to go out here and try really hard. Oh, we're, we're told by society, you know, you're a real man, you you go out there and you try. I mean, guys, look at the video that I played at the start of the, the thing. That was not an unpopular video. That had like thousands and thousands of likes and probably hundreds of thousands of views on that channel, like millions of views over the course of that guy's channel, right? telling us that we as men you know we need to we need to step up and just just put up with this cra crappy behavior guys if you put up with crappy behavior the behavior is actually going to get worse because people are going to realize what they can do to you you see what i'm saying like treat people people treat treat you as poorly as you let them i wish guys like that just people in well not necessarily people in general i think girls have a way out of whack but i think guys in general could really benefit from having some more self-respect but uh let, let's continue uh, the second reason we broke up was because I wasn't communicating enough, which is already very hard for me. In those three years, I didn't even start a single conversation with her best friend that led to anywhere. Again, guys, notice how these two things are, you know, just self-blaming here. And, you know, there's a difference between taking accountability and then being convinced that, um, you know, it's your fault. Guys, <laughs> I I'm so sick of seeing this. Is like, guys will say oh yeah well if i tried harder if i tried harder no 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 not none of that okay guys sometimes the best option is to up and walk away and not be trying so hard for people who don't appreciate it the stupidest and last reason was because in those three years i didn't change for the better for her and us i don't understand how she wanted for me to change if she wasn't willing to change with me the worst thing she did was comparing me to other people, other girls' boyfriends. I don't understand how she wanted for me to be someone else if she fell in love with who I am. Everything was going great until she went on a road trip with her, fr her friends, her best friend included. She doesn't seem like the type of person that would be easily influenced to make a decision like this by someone else. After the breakup, she's not feeling any worse at all. Wow, what a surprise, guys. Like, again, it's like... I'm sure a lot of you guys, when we're reading through this and we read through articles like this on the channel together, you probably get quite a lot of deja vu about this, okay? I mean, let, let's just look at the two biggest indicators of deja vu, right? After the breakup, the girl didn't give a crap. You blame yourself, You think, and, and you think it was a result of you not trying hard enough. It's like the, the themes are all there, man. Like this, this kind of stuff is like brainwashed into men by the thousands and thousands. Anyway. In these five days, I've reached out to my friends for support and only one responded like a person with a heart that, and some didn't even care at all. I don't know how or where to find genuine friends and I know I need more because I felt miserable for years. Man, I really feel for this guy. Like, I absolutely do. Guys, I don't have a... I'll, I'll be completely honest, guys. When we go through stories like this on the channel, uh, you know, we get we get people crying over their situations and like, the, you know, the girls, oh, I'm so alone. I, I have no empathy, guys. My empathy is, re uh, is reserved for men like this. You see what I'm saying? It's like these guys go through the situation and, you know, maybe they won't stumble. Like I could message this guy, but the odds he looks at my channel and goes, oh, well, that's really stupid. They're quite high because I'm an animated character voice. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But... Um, sometimes it's going to take guys like this a few times around the wheel to finally get it, or hopefully they come across uh, content like this on the internet. But gentlemen, we're going to pull up one last article as we kind of wrap up today's video here. And like you know, these kind of things are really sad to look at. I don't mean for the episodes to be sad, guys, but um, it's just important that I think that we as men we kind of understand the dangers of going into relationships and stuff like that. Because I, I personally think, guys, that um, if you don't know what you're doing relationships are just literally like a minefield particularly to men um because you know you're brainwashed to just walk in having no clue what the hell is going on um but let me see what else i got here uh maybe we'll save this one for next episode but let's have a look at this tiny little one here and this is a dating profile which i believe i'm not sure what dating app this is i'm assuming it's plenty of fish right because it's a fish but anyway we got a lady here whose uh name name i mean excuse me age is undisclosed gray eyes mixed hair color big and tall so she's tall, <laughs> she's long and wide, uh, non-religious and Caucasian, um, name is hidden. Please, if you are gonna message me, do not just say, hey, you will not get a reply. Currently in college to, be to become a medical biller 
have three kids, like to swim and hang out. Uh, I'm a big, beautiful woman, woman, pretty eyes, thick thighs, question mark, question mark. Love going to the springs, theme parks, don't do roller coasters. I like cho chocolate mixed milk, cho chocolate mixed in my milk, if you know what I mean. So please, lol, and two large people don't work so. I mean, so, so, so this lady doesn't take care of her body, but wants someone, you know, who is taking care of her body. You see, this is what we get, guys, when, like, these people can go on apps and still get validated when they're completely not understanding the position of the other person, right? Like, every, I often view, like, most situations in life, guys, I just, and we're just going to pull up this article so we have something to look at while we kind of wrap up today's video. Um, but I kind of view relationships and, and most things in life as a trade, guys. Like, you can't be mad at other people like you, you'll get all these girls who are 40, 50 and stuff like that. And they'll be mad at the men for not being there for them. But what they fail to realize is like men have things that we want in relationships too. You've always got to be considering the other side, guys. It's not like I can just rock up and go, hey, ladies, and not have anything to provide and expect that women give a crap and vice versa. Okay. Like it, it's gotten to the point in the dating market where no, nobody's looking at like what the other people want. The funny thing is, right, is men look at what the girls want. Men look at what the girls want, but the girls get so much attention, they think to themselves, oh, well, why the hell would I bother? And then you end up with dating profiles like the one that we just looked at. But gentlemen, we're going to wrap up today's video there. Um, as always, just a quick note about the announcement that I made at the start of the video. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure how long this channel will be around for, guys. I don't know if it'll be around for months, years. I've got no idea. But like I said, we got a warning like yesterday. Um for content they didn't tell me why so i imagine you know over time we're going to get a few strikes i'm not going to be able to post for a week here or there um and, and stuff like that and um but yeah guys if you would like to support make sure you check out the patreon link in the description like i said i'm going to be looking into locals as well um i prefer locals as well so i can give you guys like uh i know there's like a free code that joker does where he gives like a free month and stuff for supporters and does exclusive content as well as regular content over there so i think that's pretty cool and the people who run locals seem to be a lot better than patreon from what i've heard so i'll be looking into that over the coming days like i said i've been uh, setting up the community for you guys over there so hopefully that gets approved and it's all well and good so but guys if you'd like to support the channel make sure you check out the patreon we're going to leave today's video there as always leave your thoughts below subscribe on your way out and as always gentlemen take care of yourselves and i will see you boys in the next one peace